So I went ahead and did my brows off camera. Now we're just going to hop right into the eyeshadow. So first I'm going to start with this Morphe Translucent Eyeshadow Primer. And I'm just going to put this on both of my lids. Um, I wanted to try this because I wanted the colors to pop and look more vibrant. So I'm just going to put this on both eyelids and just blend it out. I'm going to be going back and forth using two palettes today. It's going to be the Jackie Ina palette and the Morphe 39S palette. So I'm starting out with this brown shade and this shade is going to be my transition color. Now I'm just going in with a clean um, blending brush and I'm just going to just use this to kind of like diffuse the edges of the eyeshadow that I put in just so it just won't look so harsh have harsh lines I really want this look to be blended um, considering the fact this is a transition color you want to make sure that it's really really blended because it's going to transition into your other colors so you don't want it to look so packed on so I always just go in with a clean blending brush and just blend out the edges now I've grabbed a crease brush and I'm going into this brown shade in the Jackie Ina palette and I'm just going to pack this on the outer corner of my eye and bring it in to the crease of my eye. So I'm putting some of my um, concealer on the back of my hand just to warm it up a little bit because I am going for a half cut crease look. So I am going to use this concealer to go ahead and do a half cut crease. Now I'm just using that darker brown shade and just going back in and putting this on my outer crease and wherever I probably lost the color from putting the concealer on. Now I'm going to be using this shimmery shade here and I'm going to be putting this all over the concealer where I cut the cut crease. So now it's time for lashes. So I'm using my Better Than Sex mascara and I'm going to go ahead and put this all over my eyes so I can put on my lashes. I actually already put on one um, off camera so I'm going to go ahead and put on the other one on camera. So our lashes are on, now we're going to go ahead and move to the face. I'm going to be taking this makeup wipe and I'm going to be using this just to wipe away any eyeshadow fallout 
that I had um, just so we can go ahead and start with a clean face. So before my foundation, I always add moisturizer first and then I go in with primer. For foundation, I'm going to be using my NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. And honestly, nothing has really changed as far as the products I use, honestly. But I'm most definitely going shopping for makeup very soon. So updated products are coming. Updated makeup routine is coming. Everything is coming. So just stay tuned. So anytime I apply my foundation with a foundation brush, I always go back in with a beauty blender and just make sure that it's all blended. So now I'm going back in with that tape shape. Y'all, I don't, I don't know if it's shape tape or tape shape. I think it's shape tape. Then again, I think it's tape shape. I don't know. I know my cousin always corrects me, but I'm just going to be using that on my face to conceal and highlight. And I'm just going to be putting it under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, the top of my forehead, and my chin. Now I'm going to be using this Real Techniques setting brush. And I'm just going to set the concealer under my eyes. I always do under my eyes first. And then I do my chin or my forehead either or. And then I always do the bridge of my nose last. When blending out the concealer on my nose, I always use a beauty blender only because I feel like the setting brush just doesn't um, blend it out as good for me. I don't know, but I always just use a beauty blender for that part. So now I'm going to go ahead and set my foundation and I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Setting Powder and this is in the shade Nutmeg. Um, I feel like this shade is really good for girls of my complexion. I mean, Rihanna has um, setting powders for girls of all complexions, which I love. Um, but I just feel like this specific shade was perfect for girls with my complexion. Now to contour, I'm going to be using this Black Radiance True Complexion Palette in the shade Medium to Dark. And I'm just going to contour with this. I didn't cream contour only because I just don't have time for that. My skin has really changed. Um, it's really oily now and I just didn't want to deal with the cream stick. Um, so I just thought just to powder contour today. Now I'm going to sweep away this setting powder and I always just go in with a um, pressed powder that's about the same color as my skin tone um, slash foundation shade um, and I just dust this away. So I'm using the Ruby Kisses. I don't remember what shade it's in but I promise I will put it in the description box below if you guys want to check them out. I also use this for when I put on my wigs. Um, and I do like the ball cap method, I use this color as well. Now I'm just gonna set my face with this NYX setting spray. Now I'm gonna go back in this Jackie Ina palette and I'm gonna use this dark brown shade again and put this underneath my eye. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm gonna go back in with my mascara and put it on my bottom lashes. Y'all, a look is not a look without some bottom mascara. Mascara on your bottom lashes, like a look is not complete without bottom mascara. So anytime I do my makeup, I have to do bottom mascara. Like it just makes, it makes the look. I'm going back into that Morphe palette because I want to incorporate some pink. So I'm just going to take that pink shade and I'm just going to put that right in the corner of both of my eyes. Yeah, so I never tried blush before. I mean, I had, but I didn't really like wear it, wear it. Um, so I just wanted to try some blush just to play around in some color and do something different. So I just took a pink shade out of that Morphe palette and I just put some on my cheeks just to see how it would look and go with the eye color. And it actually turned out pretty cute. I also wanted to try something different as far as my highlighter. So I just took this shade out of the Morphe palette and I just put this on my cheeks for highlighter. So now it's time for lips. I'm going to be using the Morphe Lip Liner in Trendsetter and the NYX Butter Gloss in Angel Food Cake. Okay guys, that was it for that video. I really, really, really hope you guys liked it. I hope, you know, maybe there were some products in there that I used that maybe you guys wanna try. Um, I would have everything listed in the description box below. And once again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.